Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Wednesday, April 20th, and we are gathered together in the name of the Blessed and Holy Trinity. Amen. Our song for this morning comes from hymn number 362. We'll continue with that one, At the Lamb's High Feast We Sing, and this time we will sing verses 5 and 6. Mighty victim from the sky, Hell's fierce powers beneath you lie. You have conquered in the fight, You have brought us life and light, Alleluia! No more can death appall, now no more the grave enthrall. You have opened paradise, and your saints in you shall rise. Alleluia. Our quote for this morning comes from Emma Lazarus. Uh, and this is the New Colossus. It may sound familiar. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 118, verses 1 through 2, and then jumping ahead to verses 14 through 24. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. God has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our Old Testament reading comes from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. David and all the people with him set out and went to Baala Judah to bring up from there the Ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts who is enthroned on the cherubim. They carried the Ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill. Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab, were driving the new cart with the Ark of God, and Ahio went in front of the Ark. David and all the house of Israel were dancing before the Lord with all their might, with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals. Our New Testament reading comes from Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 12. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they, that is the women, came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee? that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again? Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. 
he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.